Hello everyone, today's video is a follow-up on the red dot I installed two weeks ago on my CZ75, the Venom. The review is not going to be on the Venom red dot site, which by the way is a really good site. Uh, if I needed another one, I will go with the same one. I don't see why I should spend more money when this is reliable, this is working really, really well. Anyway, let's move on to what I think about red dot. Well, it's very simple. If you are committed to work with it every day or when you practice for competition, this is a good site. If you don't find the time or if you don't want to bother with it, don't bother with it. If you are using a red dot for self-defense, you better train with it because there is a learning curve depending on who you are how you have been training with handguns, what are your expectations, the curve will be different for everyone. But there is a learning curve. So, in my case, it's for competition only, and so I will train as I feel I need to train, and I've been training for two weeks every day, going to the range a couple of times, even so we had that polar vortex. Luckily, I live in Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky, and the Appalachian protect us from high wind, very low cold, very high heats and humidity. This is really wonderful. We have, uh, I know, uh, deliverance uh, kind of people here, but no, 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 they don't exist anymore. But in, in the meantime, this is a perfect weather to go train almost every day. So if it was personally for self-defense, I will never use a red dot. As other people told you, they might fail and that you will be in, uh, in trouble. You might not find the dot and you will be in trouble. The only time you will succeed as carrying a red dot for self-defense is if you commit to train almost every day with it. And when you pull out the handgun, the red dot will be there. A little trick to help, of course, is a co-witness. If you are so used to look for your front sight, then the co-witness will help you find the dot. And I might do that in the future, depending on what I want to do with the red dot. I think I'm going to move it to the to my Glock 17 to see how to see how my uh, Glock react with it. But it is a really good addition to a handgun. Would it make you faster? Absolutely not. That is you training to draw and to acquire the target with your sights. From iron to red dot, that won't change. To go from target to target. Not really either, because the speed is what you train with. To be more precise, oh heck yes, and I'm going to show you some uh, video clips I have uh, taken at the range, and it will show you that this is really uh, uh, precise. But I don't see really the advantage for self-defense. Iron sight will do the job for usually a close quarter, up to maybe 10 yards. They are perfect for that. Uh, for competition, this is a nice plus, but I need to train a lot with it. And for self-defense, again, uh, this is not my cup of tea. You have to train. And I will, I'm will. i committed to train with it for, for, for uh, competition, but I don't think I will achieve the level of um, readiness with the red dot, knowing that my red dot might be off, the battery might be down, the red dot might be broken, um, and I don't have the time to go fish for a red dot if I am nervous, if I am, if I'm not uh, ready, if I am, if I don't have trained enough, I don't want to have to fish for the red dot. And we'll see through my um, training at the range that you lose time if you are going to fish for the red dot. You are better off taking a, a shot with the iron and be almost where you want to be than having to fish for the red dot and lose maybe a second into a fight. How accurate is the red dot at five yards? Five meters. How accurate is the red dot at seven yards? Seven meters. How 
accurate is the red dot at 10 yards, 10 meters. So the red dot is very accurate and that is what you gain with it. You are not going to gain in speed. Speed is you. Red dot, iron sight, no sight, it's the same speed. If you go from a surrender position to pulling out your gun and hitting the target, that is your own speed. If you know where to get the dot, you will be as fast as the iron sight, not faster, but you will be more accurate. Now let's look at double tap or control pairs. I am at seven yards and the target I think is about eight inches. The groups are definitely tighter together compared to iron sights. So that is a big plus of the red dot. So that's what I think of it. Go for it, try it. But know that if you are going to get a red dot, you better be committed to train with it. You're not just going to get it like a handgun. Some people buy handguns and say, oh yeah, I want to shoot it. And well, they buy the handgun, they, they like the handgun, but they don't have the time, they don't have uh, the will to go to the range or to, to train with it. This is a waste of money if you are not going to train with it. And that's it. Anyway, until next time, see you guys.